What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you something that I've recently added to my collection. It's something that I've been on the hunt for for years. And in my opinion, I got a hell of a deal for it. Let's get right into this and show you what I got. So literally, I have been on the hunt for one of these for years, and I've never really found one to be in perfect condition that I wanted to add to my collection, but luckily I did recently, and that is the original PlayStation 1. I absolutely wanted to add this to my collection because it's the only PlayStation console that I was missing in my collection. Plus, I never really got the chance to play it back whenever it was first released, so to have one in my collection and to be able to get games and play it now, I'm pretty excited. Now this seller, I ended up finding him on Kijiji. Now if you don't know what Kijiji is, it is basically Canada's version of Craigslist. So you can go and post things to for sale and look for things to buy. That's where I ended up to find this deal. So originally the seller wanted $60 for this and the games, everything that was included in this package deal. I offered him $45 and he gladly took it. So I got this for $45. Now at the time I purchased it, I was at my girlfriend's house, so I wasn't able to test it out because the cable that came with this to connect the PlayStation 1 to a TV was for the older style TVs, not the newer age TVs. So I had to wait until I got home because the cable that connects it to a TV is the same one for the PlayStation 2, and that is the red, white, and yellow cable which I had for my PlayStation 2. So it was just a matter of disconnecting it from the PlayStation 2 and plugging the PlayStation 1 into it and testing it out and it works perfectly. I'm really excited. The only thing I noticed with this PlayStation 1 at the time is whenever I turned it upside down, there was a little rattle inside. So of course I had to open it up and these things are really easy to open up and it turned out just to be like I thought. It was just a little broken piece of plastic, really small, nothing of importance. So I was able to take that out. While I was in there, I also noticed that there is a white L-shaped bracket that was just lying around, and I honestly did not know where it went. So I managed to look online to see what the motherboard in the inside of this looked like, and found out it was just a little bracket, a little piece to hold down one of the wires. So I just put it back in place, and now it is perfect. I also noticed while I was inside it that it is perfectly clean. There's no dust, no dirt. It looks like either the seller put this away brand new and honestly never played it and took really great care of it or simply cared for it just like I do with my console. So this thing is in mint condition. There's no marks on it, no fading, no cracks anywhere, and there's no yellowing whatsoever. So I was really excited to add this to my collection because it looks like it was never used. Now this deal did not only include the console, it included a few games, all of the wires, and one controller. Now for the games, the first one is NHL 2000. Now, if you guys didn't know, I absolutely love collecting anything NHL. I absolutely love hockey. So to add this to my collection, not only for a video game collection, but also collecting NHL items, this one here is pretty awesome for me. I absolutely love the gameplay. It's really simple compared to the modern day NHL games. The next one, again, if you guys didn't know, I absolutely love wrestling games. So this one here is WWF Smackdown 2 and I actually checked this one out online before I went and bought it because I knew it was included and this one here is averaging on eBay for 20 to 30 dollars on its own it's one that I didn't have in my wrestling collection I have a complete collection from the first Smackdown vs Raw up until the current WWE 2k20 so this one here is just a new addition to my wrestling collection Next up, you guys know I love racing games, so luckily it included the first Gran Turismo, and I did test this one out. It's a lot of fun. Of course, it's not as great graphics compared to modern day racing games, but to have the first Gran Turismo game was epic to get. And this one here, I think it averages online on eBay for about $20 from what I can tell. And the last game, in my opinion, is the most iconic PlayStation 1 video game, and that is Crash Bandicoot. Luckily, it did include it in this package deal, which I was blown away, because I've never played this game before. So whenever I was testing it out, I literally was just putting the games in just to test them out to make sure they worked. 
but I started to play this and honestly, I couldn't really put it down. I absolutely love playing it. And now that I have a PlayStation 1, I know I'm just going to be playing a lot more of Crash Bandicoots. And to have this included in the collection, something that's so iconic, is pretty awesome to get. Now, the only thing with this package deal that was not up to par with quality was the controller that was included. Now, it appears to be not the original PlayStation 1 controller because it did have the analog sticks. It looks like it was the one before the PlayStation 2 was released. So it's not a PlayStation 2 controller. It was a PlayStation 1 controller with the analog sticks. The only problem with it was it's not really responsive. Whenever I went to test WWE, I couldn't go and select my wrestlers. It wasn't really functioning as if I'm even pressing the buttons. Or if it was, you had to press really hard. Luckily, whenever I tested all these games, I did realize that the PlayStation 2 controllers do work on the PlayStation 1, so I was still able to play it. So whenever I want to play the PlayStation 1 in the future, I'll just use one of my PlayStation 2 controllers. To get this deal for only $45, in my opinion, was pretty amazing. I absolutely loved it. Not only that, but the seller also told me that he does have some more consoles. He has older Nintendos. He believes he has a old Nintendo Entertainment System, he thinks he might have a Super Nintendo, and possibly even a Nintendo 64. But because he has no time right now, he's going to message me in the future and let me know whenever he digs it out what exactly he has, and hopefully we'll be able to work out a deal because he told me he's going to let me know first before he posts it online to sell. So hopefully I can work out a deal with him whenever he gets around to digging it out and seeing what he has. Hopefully, in my opinion, it's going to be in the same condition this PlayStation 1 is in because if you took really great care of this console, I'm really hopeful with the Nintendos. Hopefully, he does have all three Nintendos he was mentioning. He can't remember everything he has because he literally has it stashed away. So whenever he has time to dig it out, he'll let me know. But it would be awesome to add a Nintendo Entertainment System in my collection, a Super Nintendo, and a Nintendo 64. So hopefully... He has all three because I've never played a Super Nintendo or a Nintendo 64. So I'd be excited to see if he did have those consoles and also to see what games he did have with it. And of course, to see if I can get a similar deal as I did with this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you guys my PlayStation 1 that I recently purchased. I absolutely love making these videos, showing you guys the newest additions to my collection. So if there's anything else that I purchased for my collection, whether it's through Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace, or even, even simply just a yard sale, I'll let you guys know because I have a lot more things that are going to be doing for the channel related to this. Buying stuff and some of it will be going in my collection. Others will be to flip for profit. So I hope you guys enjoy. Comment down below what is your favorite PlayStation 1 game? Because now that I have a PlayStation 1, I kind of want to explore other games because I've never actually played the PlayStation 1 back in the day. I never owned one back when I was young. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.